All right, so I'm on my way home right now. I just picked up the stuff for the Toyota motor. Finally, I'll unwrap it all when I get home and show you guys, but everything looks really good. And they even painted the block for me. They missed a few spots because it was in kind of a time crunch, but whatever. It's painted. Uh, I'll paint it the rest of the way at home. I have paint. Here's the pistons in and overall it looks really good and will look even better when it's put together and painted. This is the head. All of this work was done over at Pablo's machine shop. And I mean, this thing looks brand new. It looks amazing. I love it. Uh, they did a full valve job and machine on this head for me. And I mean, again, it just looks amazing. I got some ice cream and chocolate chip. Um, so it's been a long time since I've taken this apart, but luckily I took a lot of pictures and I labeled bags. You have to label your bags when you're taking stuff like this apart and take a lot of pictures. Otherwise it will never go back together. Um, but I'm starting with these guides. I have them uh, just finger threaded in. I have to tighten them down and then I'm going to wait to put the tensioner on until I have the chain on the belt, obviously. So this is about all I can do until I put the head on. So I guess I'm gonna put the head on now. Here's all my gaskets for the whole engine and everything. And here's the head. Head gasket is on. Now we have the cam and the rockers. Time to throw those on and then we can put the head bolts in. You're gonna wanna put some cam lube uh, all over these so that everything's all lubed up and spins right when you've got it put together. I already put a little on the bottom. Now here's a little for the top. More than a little maybe. And then I can put the little caps on, bolt the cam down and put the rockers on. Okay, so these do have a specific order. There's one, two, and three and they point towards the back of the motor. I don't know if that's on every car, but I know on this car it is. They do go in specific spots, so you wanna make sure you don't mix that up. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you torque these down. Look up your torque specs because all engines are different. Mine is 60 foot pounds. So I'm gonna start with the middle two and move my way out. I already torqued a couple of them down, but I figured I'd get a video of me doing some of them for you. There's a lot of oil on the floor and it's really slippery. So I got them all torqued down. I'm gonna go over them. Same pattern one more time just to make sure they're all good and torqued down and ready to go. Now for the rest of the timing, um, I'm completely lost. Uh, <laughs> I know that I have this and I know that it goes right here. And I know that I probably need to spin this um, to be straight up. And I should have done that when I was putting it all together, but that's okay. And I know that the chain goes from here to here. Sorry I didn't record any of this, but I did get all of the timing put together. So I have the light notch right here. You can see the little circle. That's where that one goes. Uh, I put all this together. This is for the distributor. And then the chain goes all the way down. Got all the guides put in onto here. Um, there's a little dot. It's under here, but oh, there it is. There's a little dot right there. These go right in the center. And then I've got the tensioner on and everything timing-wise is ready to go. Just time to put the timing cover on. All right, so I got this thing super cleaned up. It looks a lot better. And now a gasket will actually be able to seal. If you're wondering how to clean this, um, brake clean and a scotch brake pad is the best thing you can use to clean this. I mean, just look at it. It looks amazing now. Okay, so I had to take this back off because... There's a bolt that goes right here that I forgot to put in. Goes into the timing cover, but I'm about to gasket this up. I'm gonna start with that bolt and then I'll put all the other bolts in for the timing cover. After I get this bolt in, I'll put this back on and then we'll have a timing cover on this thing. One thing I have learned from 
working as a mechanic at a shop is these i mean it's gonna be like impossible to put this on with these like this and it sucks unless you grab some of this headliner spray you can buy it at autozone it's amazing you take it off and you spray where the gasket's gonna go it's not gonna hurt anything so don't worry about that spray it and then grab the gasket put it on move it around to where it needs to be get everything good and lined up if it was not lined up then you're gonna have just as much trouble but now it'll stick on there and I won't have to worry about it falling off while I'm putting it together another thing I like to do is just get some silicone the black one it's the best kind it works for everything not just oil even though it says it's for oil um, and just put it around the bolt holes just to make sure that everything's sealed up really good around there I'll probably put some all the way down and around everything just to make sure that it seals perfectly when it goes on and I don't have any leaks because I'm tired of this motor leaking so now I've got some silicone all around all the bolt holes all around where the gasket goes where everything needs to be sealed now I can throw it on the engine okay, so here's the timing cover on I have to put all the rest of the bolts over here in um, but I did get this top one in so now I'm gonna start tightening the rest of this thing down because as you can see we are not all the way up yet. All right, well, I was putting a bolt in and it, for some reason, snapped the entire piece of my block off. So, now there's a hole in my block. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, everything's okay. Um, this hole, it doesn't go it doesn't go all the way through. Um, so I, I put the bolt in. I'm going to JB weld that piece back on. It'll be fine. Um, timing cover's all tightened down. I'm about to put this piece on, and then I'm going to call it a night again after I put this back on, too. But then I'll call it a night, and I'll finish up tomorrow. I was going to finish it tonight, but that was really stressful. So I'm just going to be done. All right, so now I'm putting my oil pickup on. It goes right here. You can see all the holes match up. Um, I gotta get the gasket for it. I have all my gaskets right over here. Okay, so I am missing this rubber gasket that goes around here, but um, I think if I put some silicone in there and fill that in with that, I think it should be fine, probably. We'll find out in just a second. All right, so there's silicone jammed up in this hole and in this hole, so I cannot get these bolts in all right so i scraped enough silicone out to where i could get this bolt in and get it tightened sean's here now to help us my bad or help me put this piece of shit together no all right so we got sean over here putting the oil pan on right now and then i'm gonna put the water pump on and it'll look good all right i got some breakfast uh, and now I'm ready to start putting this engine together. So to put on my flex fan that I have here, uh, we need this spacer. I have to take the studs out of here first, and then uh, it has some new bolts that'll bolt the pulley and this onto here to make everything attach up, and then I'll have my fan right here. These are all uh, surprisingly loose by hand. Like, I didn't already loosen this with something. I'm just able to loosen them by hand which I didn't think would happen. I grabbed a pair of ice grips and then they were just really easy to take out, but that's cool, I guess. All right, it took me a fat minute to get this lined up because I can't see in there, but I got them in. I'm just gonna wrench them down now and then I can put the fan right on top. It'll look great. Okay, so I am missing one of the big washers. It didn't come to the thing. But luckily I bought this kit from, Amazon, or from AutoZone and I highly recommend it's awesome it has a whole bunch of washers and bolts for if you're missing any some nuts and everything awesome kit highly recommend i like it i think it looks really good i'm gonna i haven't tightened them down i just finger tightened them so i'm gonna take them back off because i still have to put the harmonic balancer on and so i'm gonna take them off for now but i like the way it looks all right so i went ahead and put the intake on intake manifold um looks really good just a few bolts and a couple nuts all right I put it up on the engine hoist. I got a new little rig going then how we took it out because when we took it out, it um, it was hitting my truck. Like the engine hoist couldn't lift it high enough. 
So that should be able to lift it a lot higher. You know, I have everything lifted up a lot more. So. All right, so now I'm putting this thing onto the back of the block here. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint everything. And then I'll have to go pick up my flywheel from the machine shop along with some spark plugs. And the engine will be ready, ready to throw on the car. All right, now I've got that together. You can see this is where the flywheel bolts in right here. And should be ready for the flywheel now. All right, flywheel is acquired. You're going to want to clean it off with some brake clean because, man, look how much I just got off of this thing. So make sure you clean your flywheel before you put it on, whether it's brand new or it just got machined. Clean it. All right, so this is just one coat. Um, I haven't even finished off one can, so I will go around and do some more. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks really good. It looks a lot better than that shitty orange. Uh, when I get everything put together, like engine in the car, it's going to look amazing. And so now I'm going to go ahead and put the clutch flywheel, everything together while this dries, and then I'll put it back on the engine stand. Uh, make sure everything's painted and looks good and dried right. And then this will be done and ready to put in the Toyota as soon as it stops raining. All right, you need to make sure you torque these bolts down. Mine is to 80 foot pounds. You can see right there I have it set at 80. Uh, I'm going to torque it down, but look up your torque specs, make sure you torque them. All right, so I finally got it torqued down. What I did was I sat on the floor right here. I put this on one side, and then I put this on the other side and kept it from spinning while I torqued it. Um, all right, so this is my street clutch kit from LCE, uh, LC Engineering, whatever you want to call it. They make a lot of parts for my truck. You can see there's their logo right there. I have their stuff all over this truck um it's they make great parts i love them uh all for toyota stuff so this pressure plate is a little bit heavier of a pressure plate to make my clutch pedal feel a little heavier because it feels like nothing right now so this is going to help a lot and it's red for race car and just like the flywheel over here you do have to clean this with brake clean um, because they'll put oils on it and when they ship it and you don't want those on your clutch. I put all this together and then I forgot to put that plate on. So I'm going to take this back off, put the plate on, put it back together and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So these tree branches fell right next to my truck and the 78, but still fell right next to it. I mean, you can see it's just right next to it there and here it looks like it curved just i mean it's not very far at all curved just around the car i mean that's pretty lucky there's still some more to fall um but hopefully that doesn't fall on the truck all right here it is all put together um i'll be putting the fan on once it's in the car i think it'll make it easier uh this will all go up to the transmission and then, ta this is next. All right, so hit up Arturo if you need any bodywork or paint done. He's a real professional. <laughs> um, but right now, we're putting the mounts on the motor so that we can throw it in the car. And that's his ugly ass Camaro over there. All right, so we got everything in over here. We got the motor mounts on. Now it should be time to throw the motor in. Uh, we got all the motor mount stuff on over here. Got it painted black, all shitty and stuff. And now we're going to hopefully get this thing in all right so i wasn't really recording back then but when we first put the last motor that went in this the orange one in we put the motor in first and then hooked the transmission up to it and it took like two weeks <laughs> and the transmission kept almost falling on us and it was super hard to do well we just tried to put this in for like five minutes ten minutes and it it went straight in obviously as you can see it's not all the way up yet but we just have to push it forward now all because our toe here is so strong so Whoa. so big and uh and hey. cute hey. all right the engine's in we have to put the bolts uh that go in here in and then this thing is about ready then i'll put on the starter plug everything in plug all the hoses in but might not finish that today as long as we can get the engine in and fully connected to the transmission today we'll be good so right now i have like seven extensions all so that I can get this one bolt that holds the transmission to the engine but I have to go from all the way back here and it sucks 
All right, we got all the bolts in and all of them tightened up. And now we can take the engine hoist off. This is John. All right, gonna go ahead and put all the gaskets in the valve cover so I can throw it on. All right, so the engine is fully in and ready to go. Valve cover on and it looks so much better. I mean, it looks pretty cool. So tomorrow I'm coming out here and me and Arturo are gonna hook everything up and then we will have this car running and driving. So today we're just putting the rest of the stuff on to the motor, hooking all the wires and hoses up so that I can drive this thing today. All right, the starter is in. All right, so the power steering pump assembly is assembled and on and the alternator, the bottom part is on. I just gotta get this piece for the top part. All right, it's on. Now I need to get a hose clamp for this, put it on. This goes to this hose on my water pump right here. So I need to turn it around. And then the bottom right here, oh, I won't focus, right here, uh, connects to a hose from the radiator over there. So I will put the radiator in next, I think. All right, so AutoZone closed last night and I needed parts. And so I had to call it quits, but Tanner is coming with a new belt for right here pretty soon. And then I can finish hooking that up. All right, so as you can see, we have gotten a few more things hooked up. It's starting to look really good. We have Tanner putting the headers on right now. And then slave cylinders hooked up. Should be starting pretty soon. All right, so right now we are bleeding my clutch. Go ahead and hold it down. Uh, okay, pump it. Last one. Okay. Instagram. Well, no, just record down there. So. Oh shit! What? Big big leak, big leak. Uh, <laughs> no jokes. Uh, this is so scary. Can you hold the flashlight? Like hey, you got the it? same pants I had at Valvoline. <laughs> Thanks. What'd y'all use? Unifirst? Yeah. And that's what we used. Okay, now. They stay okay, on. Cool. Yeah, they stay on. I'm not even wearing a belt. Hey, Brayden, today. Today, please. Important. God, we could already have this thing started. Oh my God, but you had to connect your stupid ass headlights. Yeah, they're going to look so fucking cool. <laughs> they're not even going to work. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Don't make me laugh while I'm pouring. Watch, you're you're going to put in all that effort and you're going to be like, where the fuck's the remote? You're never gonna find that. Fuck, where is the. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, it's in the truck. Stop spilling shit, I keep thinking shit's but leaking. I do too. No power. So you don't set up wrong, mess. <laughs> All right, so it's cranking, but it's not starting. So I'm gonna try and spray some starting fluid in there and see if it starts. It's Mom. All right, so I was timing the car and I realized that these holes had little baby flames shooting out of them. And I was like, that's not good. Well, my shorties that I had you can see they had this part covered. I didn't, need any, I didn't need any block off plates or anything. You can see right here it was covered. Well, on this one, it doesn't. It needs those block off plates. So I was thinking I was about to have to buy some or weld something over it, but I found the block off plates from my original headers. Here they are and all their glory look like shit. But now I can put these on and then the truck should be fine. What the fuck? We'll find out when you have any girls on it. All right, so the beautiful loved Toyota has been dieseling really bad. And I forgot that I have a high compression engine now and I put low octane gas in it. And if you don't know, you have to have higher octane gas for higher compression engines. So I went and picked up some octane booster and I'm gonna pour that in so that I can 
not have it run like shit. It also wouldn't go over like 40 miles an hour. So hopefully this will fix all of my problems and then I can have a good car again. All right, so this is the octane booster we got. You just go and buy it at uh, AutoZone. And then this is a penis that's on my truck that <laughs> I put there one time. It's very hidden so that no one can see. We just pour this stuff in and then it boosts my octane. And then we'll you know. All right, so I'm gonna start the car now to get the octane booster running through it so that it doesn't run like shit anymore. Okay, you can stop the video. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going a few houses down. I'm like three houses down right now because it's really loud and I couldn't record uh, from over there. But it's just running right now so I can get that uh, gas running through it and get it all cleaned out. And then hopefully it'll stop running like shit and I can drive it again without having to drain the gas tank and, you know, put new gas in it and everything. So we'll see. All right, so I, uh, I didn't record me turning it off, but... I did turn it off and it didn't diesel. So we're making progress. Sorry, that probably looked really weird with it really close to my face like that. Um, but it didn't diesel, which means it's doing better at least. I mean, shoot, when I have like the actual right octane gas and everything in it in the first place, it'll be a lot better. But hopefully now it can also go over 40 miles an hour. I'll have to test that out later, but pretty happy with this. I mean, it's running a lot better than it was pretty solid